Hi, we recently published an extensive review on non-invasive pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidies. Besides summarizing all previous studies on the topic, we focus on the technical aspects that can be adopted in the uh, daily routine of an embryology lab. How can non-invasive pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidies be adopted in the laboratory? We can conclude that there is no need for an extra equipment, but since the amount of uh, cell-free DNA present in the culture drop is low, uh, there is need to do some slight changes in the daily routine protocol. To increase the concentration of DNA, it is necessary to extend embryo culture until day six, to reduce the volume of the culture drop and to minimize possible external and maternal contamination. It is important that before introducing embrace in your daily routine, the laboratory needs to perform a validation. During this validation, embryologists will practice with the protocol and will confirm that the viability of the embryos is not compromised. Embrace is a biomarker to help you prioritize which is the best embryo for transfer, better than morphology. However, it is not a substitute for trophectoderm biopsy. Embrace is an option for those patients that don't want to discard embryos or don't want to perform an invasive procedure on their blastocyst. Thank you.